Giant Antita. The giant antita, Myrmecophaga tridactyla, also known as the ant bear, is an insectivorous mammal native to Central and South America. It is one of four living species of anteaters, the only extant member of the genus Myrmecophaga, and is classified with sloths in the order Pelosa. This species is mostly terrestrial, in contrast to other living anteaters and sloths, which are arboreal or semi-arboreal. The giant anteater is the biggest of its family, 182 to 217 centimeters in length, with weights of 33 to 50 kilograms for males and 27 to 47 kilograms for females. It is recognizable by its elongated snout, bushy tail, long fore claws, and distinctively colored pelage. The giant anteater is found in multiple habitats, including grassland and rainforest. It forages in open areas and rests in more forested habitats. It feeds primarily on ants and termites, using its four claws to dig them up and its long, sticky tongue to collect them. Though giant anteaters live in overlapping home ranges, they are mostly solitary except during mother-offspring relationships, aggressive interactions between males, and when mating. Mother anteaters carry their offspring on their backs until weaning them. The giant anteater is listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. It has been extirpated from many parts of its former range. Threats to its survival include habitat destruction, fire, and poaching for fur and bushmeat, although some anteaters inhabit protected areas. With its distinctive appearance and habits, the anteater has been featured in pre-Columbian myths and folktales, as well as modern popular culture. Characteristics The giant anteater can be identified by its large size, elongated muzzle, and long bushy tail. It has a total body length of 182 to 217 centimeters. Males weigh 33 to 50 kilograms and females weigh 27 to 47 kilograms, making the giant anteater the biggest extant species in its suborder. The head of the giant anteater, at 30 centimeters long, is particularly elongated, even when compared to other anteaters. Its tubular snout, which ends in its tiny mouth opening and nostrils, takes up most of its head. Its eyes and ears are relatively small it has poor eyesight, but its sense of smell is 40 times more sensitive than that of humans. Giant anteaters can live around 16 years in captivity. Even for an anteater, the neck is especially thick compared to the back of the head, and a small hump is found at the back of the neck. The coat is mostly grayish, brown or black and salted with white. The forelimbs are white, with black bands around the wrists, while the hind limbs are dark. Thick black bands with white outlines stretch from throat to shoulder, ending in triangular points. The body ends in a brown tail. The coat hairs are long, especially on the tail, which makes the tail look larger than it actually is. A stiff mane stretches along the back. The bold pattern was thought to be disruptive camouflage, but a 2009 study suggests it is warning coloration. While adult males are slightly larger and more muscular than females, with wider heads and necks, visual sex determination can be difficult. The giant anteater has broad ribs. Despite its specific name, tridactyla, meaning three fingers, it has five toes on each foot. Four toes on the front feet have claws, which are particularly elongated on the second and third digits. It walks on its front knuckles similar to gorillas and chimpanzees. Doing this allows the giant anteater to keep its claws out of the way while walking. The middle digits, which support most of its weight, are extended at the metacarpophalangeal joints and bent at the interphalangeal joints. Unlike the front feet, the hind feet have short claws on all five toes and walk plantigrade. As a hook and pull digger, the giant anteater's enlarged supraspinous fossa gives the teres major more leverage, increasing the front limb's pulling power, and the triceps muscle helps power the flexion of the thickened third digit of the front feet. The giant anteater has a low body temperature for a mammal, about 33 degrees Celsius, a few degrees lower than a typical mammalian temperature of 36 to 38 degrees Celsius. Xenothrins in general tend to have lower metabolic rates than most other mammals, a trend thought to correlate with their dietary specializations and low mobility. Feeding anatomy. The giant anteater has no teeth and is capable of only very limited jaw movement. It relies on the rotation of the two halves of its lower jaw, held together by a ligament at the tip, to open and close its mouth. This is accomplished by its masticatory muscles, which are relatively underdeveloped. Jaw depression creates an oral opening large enough for the slender tongue to flick out. It is typically 60 cm long and is triangular posteriorly, rounded anteriorly, and ends in a small, rounded tip. 
The tongue is covered in backward curving papillae and coated in thick, sticky saliva secreted from its enlarged salivary glands, which allows the giant anteater to collect insects with it. The tube-like rostrum and small mouth opening restrict the tongue to protrusion retraction movements. During feeding, the animal relies on the orientation of its head for aim. The tongue can reach up to 45 centimeters, longer than the length of the skull, and move in and out around 160 times per minute, nearly three times per second. The anteater's tongue has little to no attachments to the hyoid and this is what allows it to flick its tongue at such distances and speed. The long sternoglossus muscle, which is formed by the fusion of the sternohyoid and the hyoglossus, is directly anchored to the sternum. The hyoid apparatus is large, V-shaped and flexible and supports the tongue as it goes in and out of the mouth. The buccinators allow it to slide back in without losing attached food and tighten the mouth to prevent food from escaping as it extends. When retracted, the tongue is held in the oropharynx by the secondary palate, preventing it from blocking respiration. Giant anteaters swallow at a much higher rate than most other mammals, when feeding, they swallow almost continuously. Before being swallowed, insects are crushed against the palate. The giant anteater's stomach, similar to a bird's gizzard, has hardened folds and uses strong contractions to grind up the insects. The digestive process is assisted by small amounts of ingested sand and soil. The giant anteater cannot produce stomach acid of its own, but uses the formic acid of its prey for digestion. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.